Well, let's hop to it! Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the buggy right up front here. We have a nice image of Kickback in his buggy mode. Legacy, he is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class A, Class A, oh, Transformers! On this side of the box, we have... The lovely, lovely artwork there on the other side of the box. We have some more lovely artwork of Kickback up top. Legacy on the bottom words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots. And you have your QR code if you want to scan it. Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Kickback. And yes, we're getting us some new Insecticon boys in this Legacy line. And here he is in his robot mode. It looks quite good, in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, very nice Kickbacky head sculpt there. You got some nice silver, red for the visor. Nice right, little antenna there. And got the Septicon symbol there on the chest. Nice big transclearant chest piece here. With a little bit of metallic paint right there. Um, the chest looks like it should open. There's even a hinge there and everything, but it doesn't open. It doesn't open. You can see the tabs for it go all the way through here on either side. So if you tried to pry it open, you're going to break something. But yeah, looks like it should open, but it it, it don't open. No, not that it matters to me, but <laughs> still. It's there, but um, you can see you got the nice purple there on the forearms. You got some yellow, some red, his purpley feet. And move up the back. You can see the bug legs there, just kind of tucked in. The kick back your booty, the, the, the back that you kick. And you also have the, uh, the wings here, which are done in a nice transparent plastic. Love the texture. They molded into it as well. I think that looks really good. But all in all, a pretty good design as far as I'm concerned. Now, articulation wise, uh, the head is on the ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly, a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can rotate, you can move the little antenna up and down. They are a single piece, so if you move one, you move the other, so be careful with that. Um, arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out, you have bicep rotation, uh, you have a single jointed elbow, but you get nice full range of movement out of it, um, nothing at the wrist, you have downward movement, but that's due to transformation of the wings, obviously you can kind of angle those however you want, up, down, whatever you want to do there, he does have waist rotation, the legs can move forward that far, kick back, can kick back that far, a word, he can do the full splits and then some. You get thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend there at the knee and the feet. Uh, they can move up, they cannot move down, but you do have lots of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, we do get some weaponry. He gets his little uh, G1E blaster here, done in silver with some nice metallic purple. And of course, you can plug that into his hand, so you can pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. If you want to store it, you can store it on his back. There's a port right back there. I'll just plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in, if you want that storage. But of course, he should be wielding his weapons as a warrior should. And you also get two, uh, I guess these are like Energon wings, done in the transclearant purple. They look pretty cool. And uh, per the instructions, they want you to plug these into his forearms. You can plug them into several places, but the instructions say plug them into the forearms. So you can have that going, so kind of like arm blades or something. You can plug them up here on the shoulders if you want. Um, there are slots along the wings themselves, and there are tabs here. So if you want, right, let's uh, use this one. So the pretty side is facing forward. You can. Tab them into the wings. Oops. Get everything lined up, which I don't. There we go. You know, plug them in like that. Have that going on. Things you can do if you want to do it. You can plug them, you know, like that. So they do have like a little 
gun barrels at the ends of them. So, I mean, you can just have them as like some shoulder cannons. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. It's your toy. Display it however you wish. But I'm sure the question you're asking is, are they bluish compatible? Yes, they are. They're all bluish compatible. Ah, all of them. All of them. So we can plug one air. We can take then plug them on the air. Although the shoulders, these shoulder sockets are not super strong, so they might not support the bluish. Well, that one is. This one's a little too loose, but we can do a big old triple kickbacking bluish. That's right. Oh, so much. Oh, see, it's too much. It's too much. Too much bluishing for him to handle. Too much bluishing for an insect. But hey, again, all things you can do if you want to do it. Also, some more things you can do here with the uh, with the Energon wings is uh, you can, if you want to, um, they can plug together. So you can, you know, do that or have them turn around, have that going on. You can do what you want there. There are these slots here, which I don't know what they're for because there are no tabs anywhere on him for this to tab onto. There are no tabs on the gun you can plug this onto, so I'm not sure. Maybe that's meant to go. Maybe meant to connect with the uh, weapons from uh, the other Insecticons when they put those out, I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But, of course, you can also plug these into his hands. They can use them as some big energy blades for slash slashing, slash slashing, slash slashing, slash slashing. So, again, all things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Megs. Here he is with Dragstrip. Here he is with the uh, Titan's Return kickback, each little guy. And here he is with G1 kickback because he's precious. Oh, oh, so precious. So that is basically it for the robot mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's so put gun, put that off to the side, and. We shall commence. Now, his transformation is very, very similar to his uh, to his G1 toy. So, yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the wings. We're just going to rotate them forward like that. We're going to turn them around. We're going to bring his arms back like that. And then we're going to bring this bug leg forward and then bring this part of the arm down. We're going to rotate the fist. We're going to the little, little buggy claw. And yeah, that done. Second verse is like the first. Just angle that out, angle that down, rotate that fist around. There you go. Then you're going to take his head, you're going to rotate it 180, and then you're going to flip up this panel right here, and that will come up and cover up his face. Just bring up his little antenna. And there you go. Now, as far as the legs go, you're going to come back here, pull out the buggy legs. Bring out the buggy foot, rotate it a buggy 180, and same thing on the other side. Bring that out, bring that down, rotate. And he's going to flip the feet in, and his knees do kind of fold the other way, so you can get that angle going on there. And you just set him down, and there you go. There you have it, kick back. In his alt mode. Not a bad spin. Not a bad spin. But there he is. And it's definitely par for the course for kickback. I mean, his alt mode was never all that elaborate anyway. So, yeah, this is pretty much uh, keeping in uh, keeping with the tradition of kickback's alt mode. But, you know, hey, it works. Works for me anyway. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at all the details we've already seen because nothing really changes here. They're just in a different, you know, configuration. Hey, things, stuff. There you go. He's got little, he's got little buggy claws now. There you go. <laughs> and a little buggy leg with little buggy spikes. But yeah, you get some new little details that get revealed here. Other than that, it's pretty much everything we've seen. There's the top, there's the bottom. He slides like bugs should slide. Hooray for sliding bugs. And for comparison, uh, here he is with a race car. In case you need to know what that looks like. 
Here he is with Megs. That's a big bug. Here he is with the Titans Return Kickback. And here he is with G1 Kickback because he's precious. Oh, so precious. Now, as far as storage for the weapons in bug mode goes, uh, you can take the gun here, just plug that right underneath, like so. And there's your storage for that, as far as the uh, little Energon wings go. Um, again, you can plug them onto these wings via that tab slot connection. You actually have a couple places you can plug them in, have them sit a little bit more forward, a little bit more back. Depending on what you want to do, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. So you can have that going on if you want to. You can also plug them into the legs, because, hey, you know, you can have that going on. I actually think that looks kind of cool. Personally, I kind of dig that look, but again, it's yours. Do what you want. You can plug them into the shoulders like that. Again, whatever you want to do. So, there you go. So there you have Kickback, and he's a nicely done figure in my opinion. He is pretty much just an upgraded G1 toy, but I have no problem with that. Robot mode looks really good. The bug mode looks decent. Transformation, nice, fun, enjoyable. So all in all, solid figure as far as I'm concerned. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other legacy figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Pum in your face! Ah, kick back! Glad you're here! Where are the rest of the Insecticons? They'll get here eventually. No, oh, that's fine. I'm sure you can handle this by yourself. Oh, no problem. I'll jump right to it. Ah! It's a grasshopper pun. I get it. I see what you did there. Well, at least you're better at following orders than Dragstrip. Who lives to obey? Now, I'll get to it when I get to it.